Hello Internet. In the previous tutorial I had shown you how to make a basic HTML5 game. In this tutorial I'll show you how to port that game so that you can publish it on mobile devices. So first thing you have to do is you have to write a small code for scaling your game when it's being played on mobile devices. So what this code tells the game is that if the game is not being played on a desktop, the symbol is not. So if the game is not being played on a desktop, that is if the game is being played on a mobile device, then go ahead and change the scale mode to exact fit. Else, else means if it is being played on a desktop then set the scaling mode as show all so exact fit is actually the scaling mode that we use for mobile devices and show all is the scaling mode that we use for desktop so I'm gonna be using a tool called Cocoon.js for porting a game onto Android and iOS so First go to ludi.com which is actually the official page of the developers of Cocoon.js and go ahead and create an account by clicking on sign up. Fill in all the details and create your account. Now before we port our game we should actually test whether the game is working fine on mobile devices. So to do that, Coco.js has a launcher for Android and iOS. So go on to Google Play or App Store and download the Coco.js launcher. So I'll just show you. So go to Google Play and just search for Cocoon. JS and you will be able to find the Cocoon JS launcher. Install it on your device. Once you install it, go ahead and open it up on your mobile. I'm going to open it up in an Android emulator called BlueStacks. So you can see that I have Cocoon JS installed. Now select your Cocoon.js. You might have to log in with the account that you just created from the ludi.com. And once you log in, you will be directed to this page. And right now you don't see any files over here. Now all you have to do is go to your game folder. Select all the files in your game folder and convert it into a zip file. I'm going to use 7-zip for that. Now you have to go ahead and paste this zip file into the root directory of your Android phone. So go ahead and connect the phone and transfer it into the root directory and once you do that you will be able to see a file called flappy tutorial over here. Just click on that and run it in web view plus mode and you will be able to play the game that you just made on your mobile. Now one thing you have to make sure is that go to settings and and make sure that the orientation mode is portrait for this game so now if you go ahead and test your game in web view plus mode it should work correctly so now let's go ahead and port our game go to the Ludi website and sign in with the account that you just created
okay, you will be directed to this page. Click on new project. And go ahead and fill in all these information. Type, make sure it's Coconjs. Write the name of your app. And this is actually the bundle ID of your app. Its format is com dot the name of your company dot the name of your app. Right, write in the version of your game. And the next property is really important. Choose portrait as your orientation mode and select no scale for scaling because we are already doing the scaling in phaser and splash scale method just use anything you want it doesn't matter so after you fill in all this go ahead and click on the create project button okay so now it's time to compile your project and get your application running on iOS and Android so go ahead and upload the zip file of the game that you, you just created now you just have to drag and drop it and select all the platform that you want to port your game onto so I'm going to choose Google Play Store for Android and Apple App Store for iOS. Now this property over here is really important and make sure to select WebView Plus for this property. Now just go ahead and compile the project. This compilation is going to take some time and, and after you compile your project you will be able to download the installation file of your game for Android and iOS so after the compilation is over go ahead and download those two installation files so that's it for the tutorial you have just created an HTML5 game and ported it onto Android and iOS so that's how simple it is to port HTML5 games onto mobile devices thanks a lot for watching and if you like the video please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial